In this program, what we're going to look at creating is a currency converter. Now, this is going to use a lot of the skills we've looked at in previous videos and bring them together in this program. So, what we're going to do is we're going to write the program that converts pounds to euros and then vice versa. Upon running the program, the user should be asked if they wish to perform option one of converting pounds to euros or option two, converting euros to pounds. So we need some sort of menu in here. After making this choice, the user should be prompted with suitable text input. So we need an if statement running, and obviously we're going to have to look then at how we take inputs in and the type, data type that we're going to need. Uh, it says then the program should output the converted amount. So we've given the exchange rates here, and we're going to now look at creating a program. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to create two constant variables. So the first one is going to be called something like euros or euro two pound, and I'm going to give that the value of 0 0.8. I tell that 0 0.89, and then we're going to do pound to euros, and I'm going to give that a value of 1.12. Now I don't need to specify these as floats because obviously I'm I'm basically setting the value there straight away at the top of the program. So we're going to start off with print and I'm going to do my three speech marks because we want to create a little interface here. So welcome to currency exchange. Um, so we're going to do one convert from pounds to and then we're going to go euros option two convert from and we do euros to pounds and then option three can be exit so this is similar to the menu system we created in another program now we need some sort of variable for input so i'm going to say choice equals input and then uh, please make a choice and we are nearly there so first of all we have our variables which are set at the top we put a welcome message and then that's going to stop the program running because we have an input here so the next point now is we're going to use an if statement so I'm going to say if the choice is equal to one I'm going to do a colon so it's a then so if the choice is equal to one then what we're going to do is we're going to convert from pounds to euros so I'm going to say pounds equals float input the reason I'm doing a float is because I'm dealing with the currency so I can't deal with whole numbers I will need to deal with decimal place so I'm going to say enter an amount in pounds and then we're going to do something with it. So I'm going to make another variable called output. And that's going to equal pounds multiplied by, and what are we doing? We're going to be doing pounds to euros. So let's do pounds to euros. Now, although it's a little bit confusing, I've named that variable there pounds, and I've got pounds there, but I've got pound there. So I'm just going to take that and make it a little bit easier, make it more readable for us. So what we can do then is we can say print, and then we can say the amount in euros is, and then I'm going to call my variable output. So that is the premise of this program. That is essentially everything that we need. We then need to do the reverse of that. So I'm going to use an elif. So l if. So else if the choice is equal to two, then we need to then to have an input for euros. So I'm going to say euros is equal to float input enter an amount in, and then obviously we do euros this time. And then the output, notice I'm reusing the variable name now, that's fine. So the amount is euros, and then multiply by the euro to pound. 
and then I'm going to say print the amount in pounds is Oop. output and then we can do another alif choice is equal to 3 then exit and we can finish it off then and else print invalid option so let's have a look then see what this looks like well if I run this code it's going to ask me hang on it's running on the wrong screen if I run this code it's going to ask me it's going to give me this nice little interface it says convert pounds to euros so make a choice yep we want to go with number one enter an amount in pounds so I'm going to do ten pounds and it's given me there look the answer now obviously it hasn't formatted it it hasn't rounded it because I haven't told it to yet but as you can see the program works and then it ends so let's try it again this time we're going to do number two choice number two so enter the amount in euro we do ten again so 8.9 again hasn't rounded it it hasn't done anything to it it's essentially left it as the basic output and just for argument's sake let's try number three if I just move this up a little bit let's try number three if I want to exit great so we know all of our functions sorry all of our inputs and all of our uh, outputs there work pretty well so we need now to look at this issue here of formatting so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change both of these here so I'm going to change this and I'm going to change this so what we're going to do now is we are going to make sure that it's formatted correctly so what I do is I am going to put a percentile in so percentage and then I'm going to say 0.2 F so it's formatted I'm going to get rid of this comma and then I'm going to put the percent in there so I'm going to do the same then for this one get rid of that and I'm going to put percent and then I'm going to put 0.2 F now let's run the code again so make a choice well we'll go with number two enter an amount in euros we do 10 and again it's come up there great 8.90 which is great so that works so let's try this again now we'll do number one we'll do number one 10 11.20 great now the other thing that we need to look at doing is getting this program to loop so once it's essentially run once we may want to run again until we exit so what we're going to do is encapsulate all of this inside a while so if I just make some space here and I'll say something along the lines of while true and then I'm going to indent this entire region so I just indented now this entire region and obviously now because I want to exit it and I want to actually break out of the loop what I do is type in the word break so let's try this now Oop, forgot to indent the top part so let's indent the top part here I can probably get away with just indenting that there so you can see this now comes up welcome to the currency exchange yep let's go number one as an example enter an amount 10 great so that program loops there what happens if we put an invalid choice in here well if I do a great it tells me there invalid option and then it loops around as well so that is a complete answer to this program if you've got any comments please leave them below